Alright guys, welcome back. It's the Cobb Brothers here, and I got a gameplay here using my P90 with Quick Draw, Slider Hand, and Steady Ape. No bitch blood in this class, guys. It's straight up beast blood. But uh, I got a Juggernaut kill streak here, and I got a 46 kill TDM as well. So stay tuned for that stuff. But uh, right there, get taken out. And um, yeah, guys, I got a couple of announcements I gotta make. So, uh, first of all, I haven't been uploading any videos in the past week or in a half, week and a half, I don't know, since Thanksgiving pretty much. But, uh, Oh wait, check this out guys. I'm getting shot at right here and this guy comes up and climbs on top of this dumpster and quick scope me right in the face against a submachine gun at point blank range. Uh, that's really, really not overpowered at all, right? Um, but look at these quick scopers running around here. Anyway guys, um, yeah, so I haven't been uploading any videos mainly because my upload speed is just really slow. It's at a 0.5, not even one. It's 0.5 me um, megabytes per second, I believe it's called, but it's really slow guys and when I have these videos it takes maybe an hour to upload one and sometimes it doesn't even upload it all the way but that's the re re main reason why I'm not uploading any videos that much. I'm trying to get a new internet connection but I don't know guys I don't know if that's going to be happening. But anyway guys it looks pretty bad for me in the gameplay right now because I have a 9 and 5 uh, KD but don't worry guys it's going to go up pretty soon. But right here I'm shooting this guy with my uh, P90 using burst fire. Not really trying to play too aggressive now because these guys have just been taking me out every time I rush. And that's one thing that just really came in from Black Ops and ever since they removed Juggernaut, people have just been camping a bit more. I really thought this game was going to be uh, pretty easy to like flank people and get, get to them before they kill you when they camp. But as you can see, the guy holding down the middle of that map, uh, it's pretty freaking hard to get him because there's no windows in there and you can't really chuck any nades into those corners. And it's just really annoying. I thought it was going to work out pretty good, but it's not. And honestly, guys, this is where I'm going to start bitching about Modern Warfare 3. Because it's, it's like a bipolar relationship I have with this game. Um, like, I could have three games in a row where it's just really good. There's no bullshit at all. But when they kick me out of that lobby and throw me into another game. And look at this guy, he's going to try to rush over here. But uh, they're going to throw me into a lobby where I just get shitted on kill after kill. And look at this guy, he just got quick scope from this umbrella spot. You guys know if you guys hunt underneath these, um, these umbrellas. You can dodge predator missiles and stuff if it hits the umbrella and you'll survive. But um, yeah, so this game is just built for you to fall. Like if I go on a 40 kill TDM, uh, like a kill streak or something, it'll just drop you right away if you die. You'll probably get caught up and all the other bullshit the rest of the people are stuck in uh, with the spawns and everything. And right here I'm trying to look for this thing. I stopped shooting stuff out of the sky guys because it just got really annoying. I started rocking assassin but I do not rock blind eye or uh, dead silenced. Um, so right here, I'm gonna get this guy. I toss a nade over here every time I get uh, see these cars not blowing up because one nade plus these cars is like a danger close noob too, pretty much in that area. And not that many people know that for some reason. But uh, yeah, so take out that quick scoper and I run back here, I'm trying to hold the spot off. Uh, the thing about TDM though is I can never really feel like somebody's watching my back. It's always crazy. You can never uh, trust a spawn system in this. And look at these guys just lining up to get shot. The quick scoper, if you guys paid attention to him and frame by frame that. He was going crazy shooting everywhere on this truck, but uh, take him out with my steady aim and I get these guys. And now I see where all of them spawn using the Predator Missile. This is a tactic I used in Mono Warfare 2 a lot, using the Predator Missile. I thought that was an enemy right there, but it wasn't. Um, it was just the names not reading up. But yeah guys, this game has been pretty much one of the glitchiest games I've ever seen in Call of Duty. With the head glitch especially, um, things like that. Uh, Kill streaks being removed and stuff. I see no recoil glitch, no no recoil glitches, uh, things like that. And I hope you guys aren't using them because uh, that's pretty cheap. Anyway, I'm going on with this uh, conversation here. Anyway, guys, I've been playing Monster Hunter lately because I haven't been play playing Call of Duty all weekend, maybe even longer than that. I've been playing Monster Hunter Third for the PSP. And if you guys want to play with me, just start an ad hoc party or just download it for your PSP. It's, it can. Uh, pretty much be free for you if you have a custom firmware PSP. Uh, there are guides all over YouTube for that stuff, so uh, why wouldn't you? The PS Vita's coming out. I don't really think they're going to be caring about uh, the PSP being hacked or anything. <laughs> but that's just what I'm just saying. I, I know PSP games are kind of overpriced for some of them, and this game is really fun, guys. I've been playing it uh, since maybe April, uh, on and off of it, because my PSP is just really messed up. But, um, it's just really fun. I was hoping that I could get it for consoles, but it's never coming to America, apparently. Uh, they haven't even made the PSP version for America, uh, America yet. It's just pretty much Japanese, so if you guys want to play, it's going to be a Japanese, but it has an English patch to it. So if you guys ever played uh, Monster Hunter before, you might know everything that they have in the English patch, just the weapons and stuff. Um, 
but I need another hunter with me. Uh, I'm starting to try to get to like the higher levels because I'm at HR six and stuff. I know I'm going too far with oh, milestones here, but um, I just got the Juggernaut kill streak. But uh, yeah, guys, if you guys want to play with me, just download it and we'll play on ad hoc party through the PS3. But uh, yeah, so I get the Juggernaut here, and uh, one thing you guys are gonna notice is look over behind me right now. There's no teammates next to me, and in a second, a teammate is gonna spawn right there. Yeah. So I don't know how the spawn system works, but look at an enemy come up right up these stairs right now, and uh, that means the enemy was pretty close because extreme conditioning does not work that well in this game, and um. I noticed that if I'm the longest member, I mean, the guy that saw, whoa, that came out so wrong. No homo, guys. Uh, I noticed if I'm the longest surviving member on my team, sometimes the enemy just starts, I mean, my team is just spawning right next to me, and then the enemy just starts rushing me because all of these enemies start appearing on the radar. It's just really, really stupid. But uh, I pick up this gun. I don't even know what this gun is that comes with the Juggernaut. Assault Juggernaut, guys, all day, every day. But, uh, yeah, this gun just completely rape shit i don't know i take out these guys with uh just hip firing down the staircase right there and you see like it's a firefight going on right there but usually the guys that are uh, at the the higher level pretty much always win because you have that verticality advantage plus the head glitch um pretty much if you hide behind the object and your head is only exposed it's it's pretty much considered a head glitch but right here i'm taking these guys out and i think i missed the guy he's knifing me right here but this is before the juggernaut was nerfed guys now it got nerfed and it's pretty crappy now i have a bonus clip at the end of this video showing us how easily you can get taken out but uh right here i'm just i'm just going to work right here and i think i get taken out right here by Sentex. it's so gay that um when you get stuck with a Sentex, uh it kills you in one shot while wearing the juggernaut suit i mean you could be wearing a riot shield and it still takes you out even though it sticks to you but uh, when you have a juggernaut suit it's it's the same thing i don't get it uh but uh yeah i don't even know i'm going with this but you guys are gonna see i was rock, rocking the recon juggernaut the one with the shield and i still get taken out in a free-for-all and to getting taken out in a juggernaut suit in free-for-all is pretty damn ridiculous because usually when i get that in, in free-for-all i pretty much win the game non-stop because um Nobody works as a team. They all, they all start picking each other off. But in this one, these guys put all the differences aside and just came together and kicked my ass. You guys are gonna see, I get taken out in like 10 seconds, 30 seconds, not even. 20 seconds at most. But uh, anyway, guys, this has been a 46 kill TDM, guys. So if you guys could please like, favorite, and comment this video and subscribe. This has been the Cobros and I'm out. Peace. Juggernaut ready for delivery. Friendly has Juggernaut. <laughs>